Okay, this is part two. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should, I mean, somebody show me a text, man, and show me something where they posted up and said, look, Nate, what are you doing? You need some help? What are the Iman's uh, 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 saying? Who, 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 who's the leader, man? Which one of these niggas done called this nigga and said, man, you're beating American bitches that you're cheating on with your Muslim wife? You're having sex with special needs people at your job. This is all public information. This is all Hennepin County record. This nigga's fucking motherfucking. And I'm not, I got flaws. Everybody got flaws. I'm not here to point people out and act like I'm better than other people. The nigga fucked with me and said some out of pocket shit. He's lucky I didn't slap the fuck out of him. So I'm just going to internet kill you because you can't do shit to me. I seen him at the Mazanor uh, 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 um, on Lindale. I reached my hand out, tried to shake his hand. He looked at me like I was a piece of trash. I said, okay, nigga, now I'm going to bury you. You know what I'm saying? What does your wife Queenie think about that? Well, she left your mark ass already. All these niggas. And you know what? What is y'all Muslim scared about? I'm not going to expose you niggas. But if you stay in my business, I'm going to start digging into your shit and put you on Lucchese Vision. And then what? Then I'm going to ruin you. Every day for 30 days, I'm going to post some shit on Facebook. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? This is Lucchese Vision, man. All you have to do is shut the fuck up. Now, back to Julie. Like I said, mad respect for Julie. You know what I'm saying? I cut now. This is how you tell how niggas is stupid. And I got people inboxing me talking about why you do that or take. Let me tell you what I did. I didn't have no example to use, and I noticed that she's always uncovered, always uncovered, unless it's a special event. Like she's ashamed of who she is. You feel me? But that's her. I'm not judging her. So what I did was out of love, I I I, I crossed out the name at the top. Julie Gartrell and I blackened her face not to disrespect her because if you know who she is then you knew who she was and I would think you would have just looked at what I did and said okay I didn't think you'd go oh my god let me screenshot screenshot I'm gonna tell you any bitch motherfucker that screenshots something and sends it to somebody else is a hoe your mama's a hoe so whoever did it, I'm speaking up, nigga. Your mama's a hoe. You a hoe, nigga. Use a pork chop sandwich, nigga. Speak up. Don't do cowardly shit behind people's back, man. Speak up like I do. You know what I'm saying? All I said was, is this right or wrong? And people want to, Nigel and everybody want to say, man, that's not that bad. or that. No, a sin is a sin no matter if you're Muslim, Catholic, uh, 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 Christian, or whatever you are. See, Muslims are at an all-time low. See, being a Muslim used to be a fad in Minnesota back when hip-hop started coming out in the late 80s, early 90s, when hip-hop blowing up everybody, all the ugly niggas that couldn't get bitches or wasn't popular, they became Muslim so that that was something different to stand for. You feel me? Minnesota used to be on the highest level of, of new uh, reverting Muslims in the world, in the country, at one time. And now, now Islam is low. Uh, uh, atheists is high now. And other religions are high now. So they're trying to draw people into becoming Muslim any way they can. So guess what? You can dress like a rapper. You don't have to cover up. Just And then I hate when people go, well, Allah knows my heart. He knows my heart. That's a fucking bitch-ass excuse for you to have to do what you want. So that means I should, um, I should go commit a crime and say, you know, Allah knows my heart. Yeah, I put people on blast on Facebook, but Allah knows my heart. Um, I killed two people, but, you know, Allah knows my heart. Should I use that for an excuse all the time? He knows my heart. You're supposed to be working every day to be a better Muslim, every day to be a better Christian. Whatever religion uh, or denomination that you follow, you're supposed to be working to be better. So if you are purposely disrespecting the Quran, it's one thing. That's, that's, that's out of pocket. Now, if you don't unknowingly knowing that you're doing it, or you have a sickness... Okay, but I'm seeing motherfuckers at the club with beers in their hand, man, and bitches out in the club showing that you're supposed to humble yourself. Men lust over showing your titties and showing your booty. You're supposed to cover up so men don't lust you, so they get to know your mind, they get to know your character, and they choose you. Only hoes want to show their booty off, and bitches taking pictures like this on Facebook, they be like... Because they titties is big, but this here be fat as hell down here hiding itself because bitches is insecure with who they are. If you don't like your body, do something about it. Don't take fucking um, catfish pictures and shit hiding yourself. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. So, you dumbass bitches and dumbass pork chop ass Muslim niggas, I didn't mean it as disrespect. I covered her face because if you know who she is, you know who she is. 
I didn't want to disrespect her. I wanted the other people that didn't know who she was to comment on the shit. So that's why I said what I said, nigga. So fuck you and fuck Julie too, nigga. If any of y'all got a problem, nigga. I mean, I thought Muslims were, were disciplined, strong men. Or shit, motherfuckers asking questions where I'm at. What about me? Bitch, ask me, ho. For real. Because I'll beat one of you niggas' ass and, and put a ham sandwich in your mouth, nigga, and take a picture, man. You better quit playing with me, man. Let's get time to Luchese. Luchese visits. Shut your mouth, boy, entertainment. And if I didn't say the shit, the shit didn't happen. You feel me? You know, you're making me wonder and question Islam. And you know what? Being, as y'all call a non-Muslim, which is not true in my case, but I'll take that title. Any question that I have about Islam, even if it's against you, you're supposed to answer it honestly. Because I'm asking a question. I'm in doubt. I'm confused. I want some extra understanding. But see, you niggas is all dirty Muslims. This is a secret society of worthless, dirty Muslims that are all trying to rewrite the Quran. Man, the Quran's going to be, Muslims are going to be so fucking garbage in the next 10, 15 years, man. There ain't going to be no food of Islam because you niggas is allowing bitches to dress like whores and wear tight skirts and makeup and shit. And they don't have to cover up. Man, there's parts in the Quran that says women have to cover up. Don't make me pull it out and read the Quran for you bitch ass niggas like y'all forgot. That's why y'all go to uh 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 the the Maz down there on Lindale because they tolerate that fuck shit. I done been to Mazes where ain't even no black people around, where they're not gonna have niggas with tattoos and all this other bullshit around and all this profiling and vanity shit going on. They would have killed you. They would have took you down in the basement. And they would have beat your motherfucking ass. That's real talk. That's what would happen. I take one of you niggas down in the basement and beat your motherfucking ass. Real shit. Because I'm voicing my opinion. There's true facts to what I'm saying. And ain't none of you niggas corrected anything. All you're doing is talking about what I'm doing. All I'm doing is talking about the dirt and the filth that's going on. You niggas is cowards, man. All of you niggas is chatty patties. Talking amongst each other. The cab driving nigga. Nate. Uh, Gail's probably running his mouth too All y'all Muslims, nigga I don't give a fuck Cause ain't none of you niggas gonna whoop me Or do nothing You're gonna end up uh, Ali Didi You know, so that's a little word I made up for money don't mean, It means something, but you don't know what it means Ali Didi Look, Hamza is not my keeper He's not force feeding me He's not giving me any information So get off that nigga's dick You can tell he's a very humble And a very patient Muslim because I would have been told you bitch ass niggas don't call my line. You don't call for nothing else. You niggas is hoes, nigga. With a capital W. Whores, nigga. Real shit. You niggas is protecting Nate because you don't want to get exposed because he's the type of nigga you can get a 20 sack of weed from and not paying back and shit. Like, you can punk him and shit. You feel me? That's why y'all do that. He's the motherfucking Muslim community weed dealer, like I said. And what the fuck you niggas going to do about it? You better stay in your motherfucking lane before I make... I'll, I'll dedicate my life to destroying you suckers, man. I'm in the mosque. I'll be there Friday, man. Hey, it's Ramadan, man. I'll be in there a couple times, man. Feel me? Call me the Honorable Catano Lucchese Sanders, nigga. If you don't like it, have Farrakhan call me, man. And also visit fuckyourmixtape.com, man. We out here.